Hello and welcome back to the battle room. My name is Colin and today we have my Vancouver regionals team So this is the team I used at Vancouver. I think it's a really fun team. I had a lot of fun using it It felt pretty decent. I think it's probably better in close sheets, but it felt pretty decent throughout the run I think Ting Doze was really good. So I wanted to showcase it. I, I think it's a fun team Let's play with some Ting Doze. I, I practice with this team a lot. So hopefully I can uh, do well and get myself um, some some dubs today so this was a team that I spent a lot of time on, like practicing with Alex Underhill, figuring out the matchups and Chep across as well. We were trying to fake, figure out and make this team as good as possible. I ended up finishing 6-3 at the regional, which wasn't great. That's a swallow. Um, but I still think the team is really good and I am proud of what it's able to do. It just wasn't like, I just don't think it was the greatest call of all time for that tournament. And I 6-3 is respectable, but I wanted more. Um, I just think Ting Dozo is really okay. Um, obviously London has already happened at this point, but I am curious to see if uh, Ting Dozo manages to uh, get some footing there because I do think it could be, you know, explored further and figured out a little bit better. And I think we were we we're close to something really sick, but we just weren't we just weren't there in time. I think I think that the the last slot is just really difficult, and I think we fucked up with the ogre pond water, and I just don't think it was as good as it possibly could have been. But without further ado, let's get into this battle. So we've got ourselves a Zapdos Grimmsnarl lead. All right, this is awesome already. Into Ting Ludozo. So for those who don't know about the cringeness of Ting Ludozo, the idea is simple. You press Sand Tomb, you press Sand Tomb, and you press Yawn, and it is really, really nasty. In this case, I'm not gonna be doing that because Sand Tomb Yawn isn't really great into Grimmsnarl. Um, but what I can do here is I can start to whittle everything down. So I think I'm gonna, I actually really like a Runation on a Zapdos, get it down to half HP already. And then I think I'm just gonna go for a... I kinda like a Yawn in a Zapdos, just so it doesn't stay in next turn. That's that's the that's the dream here. Yeah, Reflect doesn't mean anything, buddy. Don't really care. And they're gonna go for T-Bolt into Dozo, but Dozo eats that up. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It did about 150. Okay, Para is mad annoying. That That's a little cringe, but that's fine, that's fine. Eat it up, eat it up. They don't have a really great Ting Lu answer. I just get to leave this guy in. I should live another T-Bolt, which is pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> Full para too, right? Okay, I do get to yawn up. <laughs> okay, Runation missing there does suck a little bit because Zapdos at half HP would make my life a little bit easier. But it is what it is. Alright, let's go for Sand Tomb Yawn into this Grimstrong. They're going to withdraw Zapdos. Good, good, good. Obviously, we lived the T-Bolt just in case, but I did want him to switch that out. Oh my god, they brought Swalla. That's crazy. They're gonna spear break Ting Lu for what? It's gonna do nothing. That, that actually did something. Okay, Rocky Helmet. Sand Tomb connects. Good job, Ting Lu. One thing I hated about this team was the reliance on Ting Lu hitting moves. Like, it actually does go, and I'm fully paralyzed. Okay, awesome. Um, that's not good. <laughs> okay, we did Sand Tomb Grimstar, though. He's slowly dying. Let's go. We got him. All right, Sand Tomb this guy. And we'll go for Yawn. The para there is actually really brutal. Just purely because I just don't I just want to spam Yawns. And if I'm not spamming Yawns, it feels bad. Okay, he doesn't know about Oblivious. That is good. Also, that's another good thing. It's a good thing to talk about. Dozo gets Oblivious, which is so huge for this team. Because it makes it so you can never intimidate him, which is really frustrating. And he has Yawn, okay. Um But it's really frustrating because um Oblivious is just so good like you can't get intimidated you can't get taunted it is perfect for this dozo and it just makes it into a, a machine it's so good on this team all right so that guy is slowly getting whittled down we take those and now this guy is permanently trapped in for this turn i will switch out ting lu because we're yawned but now he is a uh, he's a little screwed i'm gonna go into d knight i think and then i am just gonna go for a heavy slam onto grimstone i want him out of here but yeah, it's just a really, really slow paced, like, I think it's kind of fun personally. Um, obviously, you guys should try it out. Rental code's right there. But uh, it is, it's very slow paced and it's more just about um, whittling things down so D-Knight can come in and just go absolutely crazy and clean up the game, right? Like, that's the best part of this team is that you get everything really low and then everything's in extreme speed range because of Runation, Sand Tomb, Yawn, and they just can't play the game. All right, Dozo ate there. We get the heavy slam off. This guy is still alive. That's okay. And now Swalot is sleeping. Have a good nap, buddy. Have a good nap. Um, 
I think I'll just go for E speed. I if they tear a ghost, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> like you can tear a ghost, dude. Like if you want to commit your terror to the two HP Grimstarl, be my guest. All right, Grimstarl is dead. Everything is pretty good in range, though. I think I think Swallowed here. I don't know what Swallowed was gonna do besides Yawn, but I think we can kill Swallowed now. Wave Crash would do big damage. Oh, it actually really didn't. <laughs> what the hell? Lefties on the Swallow, okay. I really... I've never really played against a Swallow before. I don't know what this thing does. See, now if the Zapdos was Runationed, it would be just in range to just get murdered, by the way, which is really awesome. But alas, it is not. All right, I'm just going to E-Speed here, not Terra, and just Wave Crash E-Tran if I'm able to. Because if we just keep um, keep up the pressure, Chien Pao can easily just win the game. All right. I also don't think... Yeah, they have to commit an EP. He's the goat. Swallow stays asleep. This is awesome. If we actually move for this wave crash, this is this game is over. Oh, it's over. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, Dozo, as cringe as it is, it still does a good job of dealing damage. Like, it's it's a hard Pokemon to KO, especially with Ting Lu. And Wave Crash is a really insane move. So the, the synergy that these guys got is just phenomenal. I think I think Chiempo D Knight as the other two is really good, but it kind of depends. I know we're going to see some players at the UIC use some loaded dice Dragonite sets, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, there's, there's a lot of cool things you can do with the slots on this team, but Ting Dozo just continues to be really strong. We also saw Desu get second in the uh, GC with it as well, which is pretty impressive. It's just, it's just a good team, honestly. I'm afraid of Swallot. Like, I really just don't want to get Yawn. So I'm going to actually just kill Swallot. They probably are going to Terra Heatran into Terra Fairy. But I don't want to even try to predict it. I don't think it's worth it. Because if they do Terra, I do just win with D-Knight. So I don't think it's a huge deal here. I do have to be a little careful. My Ting Lu cannot touch flying types outside of Runation. And getting a Runation kill will be very difficult. So I do have to make sure Zapdos goes down eventually here. <laughs> but if they're going to commit the Terra to the Heatran, it's all good. Oh, it's Turk Grass even. That's not even as scary. I don't think he's going to do that much with Heat Wave anyways. We saw the leftovers, so this should be a walk in the park. I think the Swallow should die. Based on the damage we did last time, now we have Terra Normal. Now we have Sword of Ruin. Swallow, you, you simply cannot cannot hang with the big boys now. And they're gonna, we're going to get the Sacred Sword off, so he's at 1 HP here. Oh my god, that did nothing. What the hell? Alright, Flash Cannon. Even better. That means our D-Knight was left untouched. I think we can easily just go for Extreme Speed into Zapdos and Protect onto Chiempao. And I'm thinking we win the game that way. What did the... The, the Grimstall didn't even set up a screen, did it? It just went for Spirit Break a ton of times and then a random ass taunt. Yeah. Oh, they have Reflect. Okay, cool. So they do have Reflect. That's why Sacred Sword did so little. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... If that's the case, then I'm just going to Protect here and just go for E-Speed in the Zap. Maybe I should have E-speeded Heatran, but I don't think it matters. Okay, that's fine. Heatrans can do nothing. Are they just going to double protect on their last turn of Reflect? No. I guess I should have obviously went for Heatran now, now that we saw that it uh it protected, but I think it's fine. Because next turn, I'm just going to double Zapdos. Because I know Ting Lu can beat Heatran, we, but Ting Lu cannot beat Zapdos. So. Dragonite dodges Heat Wave even better. No risk of burn. Not that the damage would be that crazy <laughs> from a lefty's heat tran, but... Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time. The reflect is off. It's time to hit him with some spinners. Ooh, he tried. Tried for the double, did not get it. See you later, Zapdos. Does this one-shot Zapdos by itself here? I think it might. I think we might just win the game right here. Yeah, we do. Oh, it went critical. Okay. And the static, but that... Does not matter here because these ice spinners about to end Heatran's entire career as a Pokemon. I miss you, Heatran. He was so good for so long, and now he's so mid. Ice spinner time. All right, let's go to game two. I mean, now now that I'm playing a team I'm super comfortable with, this is gonna be a cakewalk. All right, we got Luffy, rank ten. Okay. Okay, with the pretty standard. Uh, this is like the Luka King Gambit team. Um, hmm. This this matchup is weird. This matchup is rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's obnoxious to play. Um, it kind of depends what they lead, what they want to do here. I could lead Tinglu Dozo, 
it's not terrible into this stuff, but hmm. Tingly Dozo is not bad. I don't really like Dragonite Pow back. I like these guys the most. I think we'll just Ting Dozo open. And if they lead Rillaboom Gouger, I can easily just switch into my own um, Gouging Fire. Because they're going to Howl Turn 1, which would feel okay. Um, yeah, I, th I think this will be okay. I think I think we can go pretty crazy with this. It's a, it's a weird matchup, though. I don't really love it. Um, but we can show off the other two Pokemon. <laughs> My team is just kind of a glorified 2-2-2, but the thing is, is I feel like it has more synergies and more interactions. Like, a lot of the, like, Dozo paired with Gouging Fire is so good. Even Tinglu Gouging is really fire. Gouging is just good with everybody. I have six physical attackers here. Um, I guess technically, Tinglu. I, I want to say technically Tinglu is not a physical attacker because it has Sand Tomb and Runation as its attacks. But technically, when it does hit with Sand Tomb, it is a physical attack that can be powered up by Howl, so there is that. But we'll see here. I think I think this is the easy sand to on. If they do mess up and they don't lead Gouger plus the grass types, instantly really easy game. But if they do lead Gouger plus the the one of the two grass types, then it's like, um, you know, we have a game on our hands. Rillaboom, Ogre Pond. Oh, okay. I'm actually like really okay with both grass types. <laughs> I'm really okay with both. Um, yeah, this is sick. Okay, so I have Rocky Helmet on that guy. Uh, Dozo is still valuable in the back, especially if we can get through this guy. I'm going to switch to Gouger myself, and then I'm going to go for a Terra Poison, obviously, here. And then... I'm thinking we just Runation, or... Terra Poison Sand Tomb feels good. I'm going to Sand Tomb this guy, because I don't want... I want to kill Ogre Pond. I want Ogre Pond trapped in, locked in, so I can just continuously Breaking Swipe it, and just make it, like, really, really weak and worthless. That is the game plan here. All right, gouging fire. We're gonna see a Terra from me, no Terra from them. I imagine you fake out the Dozo and like Ivy Cudgel the Ting Lu. That's like the safe play. Um, Cause you just don't want to get yawned. You don't care as much about Sand too. Yep. Cause you don't want to fake out the Ting Lu. It usually has the Rocky Element, right? They're actually gonna Horn Leash the Dozo as well. Wow. So this is a free sand tomb. It connects, thankfully. That is big. I like the look of that one. That feels good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this turn is I'm actually just gonna protect. Actually, no, I'm gonna break and swipe. I don't really wanna take a full power and high horsepower IV cudgel if they do try to double ding loop. We're just gonna break and swipe here and uh, I'm gonna sand tomb Rillaboom just so that it can't U-turn next turn right off the bat. Um, or if it does U-turn now, then I'm going to trap something else in if it's not Fluttermane. So that would feel good as well. Especially if it's like Gouger. The damage really does start to add up on the uh, on the Rillaboom. If it, I don't even know if it has U-turn though. It might have high horsepower. So it might end up just being trapped in permanently while we just slowly break and swipe these two idiots to death. The double grass lead was not something I uh, fully expected here. But we shall see. This guy's taking a long time to think about his play. All right, Rillaboom just straight up withdraws. That's pretty crazy. It probably doesn't have U-turn. It goes into Fluttermane the Sleepy. So we aren't going to deal damage this turn with uh, with Gouger onto the Fluttermane. They're going to tear a water? That's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty crazy. I didn't expect that one. Goodness. Okay, I mean, I guess it's not too bad. They are going to do pretty good damage to either Gouger or... Uh, Oh, Ting Lu, so it's like, I respect it. But we are going to Breaking Swipe, so as long as it doesn't go critical, I think we're chilling here. Let's see. They're going to Ivy Cudgel. Okay, no follow me, no nothing crazy. In Ting Lu. He eats this, though. That's the best part. Yeah, look at that damage. That was nothing. That was nothing. And we do hit Sand Tomb on the Flutter, which feels really good. I would have been more afraid if they Ivy Cudgel Gouging, because, like, we just would have taken way more damage, like, and then Fluttermane might have been able to get us. But now it feels a little bit better. <laughs> I just love Sand Tomb. so funny. It does so much damage, too, like, over time. Even with this grassy terrain, we're doing a little bit more than the terrain. Uh, I'm going to just go for Heat Crash into Fluttermane. And then I'm going to Runation this guy. Because if they follow me, it's like, who cares? I'm doing so much damage to your Ogre Pond. 
that I feel fine about it. And if you don't follow me, then your Fluttermane's going to take so much damage. And you have no way to kill Ting Lu. You would need to get a critical hit on me to do that. And even then, let's say they kill Ting Lu. I don't really care. I think I can go crazy with Gouging Fire and Ogre Pond, So, and We still have a full HP Dozo, so I don't know what we're going to do with that guy, but we do have him. <laughs> he is, he's along for the ride. Because Dozo is so good in the Fluttermane. That's one of the best parts of the synergy of Dozo plus Dragonite Shampoo is that it just does so well in the Flutter. Um, all right, he crash goes through. This is awesome. Hangs on with one HP. So if Tinglu lives the turn, that thing will die. Oh, Tinglu's living the turn. So is Gouger. I think if they crit me, they oh they horn leech the the Tinglu. That was a crazy play. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was a crazy crazy play. They needed to not do that, but <laughs> why did they do that? Okay, Renesha comes through. All right, see you later, Ogre Pond. Slowly whittling Ogre Pond down. And there goes Fluttermane. See you later, buddy. See you later, Fluttermane. Okay, that was a big, I mean, that's a big KO. It basically didn't do anything. It did half the gouging fire, and we just removed it from the battle. That was their best chance. I mean, I'm not gonna say that was their best chance of killing Ting Lu, but that was certainly uh, one of them. I also think this thing is now in range to die to Breaking Swipe. It's just slowly getting beaten down here. King Gambit is the last one here. Oh, this is awesome. Um, let's just Heat Crash King Gambit and Sand Tomb it. Because we can't Breaking Swipe anymore. But I, I think we just need to make sure that this guy doesn't go like absolutely crazy. But I think with follow me guy in the back, we should be fine regardless here. So this is just keeping them honest. They didn't press follow me. It takes it takes half. Ivy Cuzzle was going to come through onto my Ting Lu. Now they're like, oh, I got to kill this guy. He's too, he's too bulky. Are you going to iron head him too? They're going to cow him? That's not going to kill. That is not going to kill even with the critical hit. Ting Lu, you're a monster. But he is going to miss Santa because he's a moron. But... <laughs> He, he, he did good. <laughs> Sometimes, Ting Lu. Sometimes I really hate you. But they didn't set up right... Ooh, that last sand, that sand tomb feels good. That's a good sand tomb to have right there. Um, I'm just going to go for Heat Crash into Ogre Pond. Remove it from the game. And we'll just go for sand tomb if we can. We're going to Sucker Punch. Okay. Heat Crash comes through. Ogre Pond is gone. There goes their Terra. Wow, this was just Ting Lu Gouger, man. This 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 felt so easy. Ting Lu was just Ting Lu was fire this game. He didn't even do anything. Oh, okay, please don't miss again, bro. You're so stupid, Ting Lu. I swear to God. Why do you got to do this? <laughs> like why, man? We just lock up the game if you hit that. The game is just simply over, but you just refuse to make it easy for us. <sighs> all right, all right. Um. I think right here, I am going to attack with both Pokemon because I want to make sure that King Gambit doesn't Swords Dance or something. Like, I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. I need to make sure it's not doing that. So I think we're able to just Sand Tomb and go for um, Heat Crash into the King Gambit. If we hit the Sand Tomb the turn before, though, it would have been so nice. It would have been so good, but alas, that is the, uh, the Curse of Sand Tomb. I, I want to say this game is actually, like, closer than I want it to be. Like, they could still win, I think, if they get all... Like, like let's say they just start reading every single turn. It could get bad. Like, also, if the Sucker Punch crits or something, it could be bad, too. Oh, they don't Sucker Punch, though. Yeah, see you later, King Gambit. Now, now we're fine. Now, now I don't care. Never mind. Everything I just said, the game is not close. We, we, we're going to win. <laughs> Ting the flinches. He really is just so insufferable, I swear. Um, at this point, I don't even think they can really get through the gouging fire. I think we just heat crash here, and then Sand Tomb should probably win. Battle's canceled. All right. That's two wins. That's two. Can we get the three for three? I've, I've had some rough videos. I've been playing all day, recording while for EUIC. Let's go for the three wins in a row with my regional team. Okay, this is it. I think we'll, like, we might make it into Master Ball, like, maybe on this win. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> they came to party here. Okay, they have no real answers into the Tingos, though, unfortunately. Um, Gouging looks really good, and I like Chien Bao as well. We don't really want Trick Room to go up, but we have Taunt for all that. I think this should be 
a free dub. If, if I choke this one, I simply don't know. All right, it's gonna be Sableye and Ogre Pond Water. Um, all right, this instantly feels pretty decent. Like if it's SD Sableye or SD Ogre Pond or something, then yeah, there could be problems. But I think we're able to just sand Doom Young the slot. They can't taunt my guys. Um, I mean, technically they can taunt Tinglu right now because I am Terra Poisoning, but still not a huge deal. I would be worried about SD. Like Fake Out SD could actually be like a little spooky. I'm not gonna lie. But even then, we just get to bring in Gouger. But like Quash, if they have Quash too. Okay, they're just setting up Reflect. Okay. Swords Dance. It was SD. I wasn't capping about the SD. I was afraid of the Swords Dance, but we're we're in a good position now. We hit Santu. Thank you, Tinglu. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate you today. Um, after that last game too, when he just decided to miss like crazy. Jesus Christ. Okay. So now. All I have to do is protect Dozo. And I think I'm just going to go for a Runation into this guy. I think the only way that I would die would be like a Terra Water. But I think committing Terra Water onto your potential sleeping Pokemon seems crazy. And I also think they want to probably hit Dozo first. So I I don't know. Say by withdraws. Okay. They don't have anything to wake this up or anything, right? <laughs> Comfy's in. Okay. I don't think I care. Dozo protects. I also really want this Runation because I just want Wood Hammer. Okay, that's... Ooh. Normally, I'm not as afraid of that thing when it has Horn Leech. Like, Dozo just doesn't care. But Wood Hammer is scary. And we're going to miss Runation. I mean, hey, we hit the Sand Tomb turn one. Like, what more can I ask for, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that thing's asleep. I, I want to go for the Sand Tomb Yawn, but I also just really want to chip this thing down. But I also, it has Wood Hammer, so I think it's fine. I think we can just Sand Tomb this guy. We can start working on the Comfy. Because if they do wake up and they hammer the Dozo, they're going to take so much recoil that they're probably going to die. Okay, they've got Floral Healing. I don't like that one bit. I do not like that. I don't like that. Be honest. I forgot about Floral Healing. Okay, we hit the Sand Tomb here. I like how I risk my Ting Lu. I like, I'm like, okay, we're gonna make a nice read. We're gonna get Runation, and then I just miss Runation. Like, it's like, okay, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Okay, now this guy is lefties. Okay, fine, that doesn't matter. Um, how important is Dozo? The thing here is that I really do think I can safely, safely switch Dozo into Gouging, and there's like no setbacks. So I think I'm going to do that. And if I hit Runation here, it's also like a huge dub. Because then, like, their Floral Healing goes first. So they're at like a little under half. That I feel really good about my chances of just winning with Gouging Fire. Uh, they could Terra. Okay. Booster Energy. Gouging Fire is such a fun Pokemon. I really do like using him. He's so, he's so sick, honestly. Alright, they're going to go for Floral Healing. Runation connects. Thank God for Runation. Okay. The Leftovers is really ridiculous on this Comfy. I don't know why it has this thing. <laughs> Alright, Sand Tomb slowly working them down. Which is really like to see. This is so... Sometimes I just get so bored playing this team. Because it's just too easy. It's too easy to win. All you do is just spam Sand Tomb. Alright. Now I'm going to go for Heat Crash. Hopefully this will kill. If they tear out, it's whatever. And then I'm going to go for Runation into Comfy. Because they're both trapped in here. If they don't wake up, they will just die like this turn. If they do wake up... Oh, they're just dead anyways. They didn't tear out. They also had to commit Terra to a sleeping Pokemon. Which feels terrible. But Gouger's going to get this... Uh... Oh, it did not get this Clutch KO. And they wake up. Okay. They're going to hit Ivy Cudgel onto the guy. It shouldn't kill, right? Oh no, not even close. Runation, a nice half HP onto Comfy. <laughs> and then this thing should die to... Um, it should just be KO'd and knocked out by a Sand Tomb, right? That's the beauty of Sand Tomb. When they don't have Grassy Terrain, it feels even worse. Like, Grassy Terrain at least negates it, like, quite a bit. But sand, like without it, you're just actually getting cooked. All right, what's coming in? I think it's probably Sableye. It's gonna be Arcaludon. Okay, I mean, I can Sand Tomb that. I can Sand Tomb that guy. 
right, let's heat crash, and I think Sand Tomb's worth. Does anything get rain dance? I guess Sableye does get rain dance. I think Sand Tomb's totally fine here. I think Sand Tomb gives me the most value. Comfy stays asleep. Okay. I mean, it's probably just gonna go for Training Kiss, but now, now Comfy is dead. See you later. Oh, it's gonna go for Focus Energy. Oh shit! What is this? Okay, Arcaludon's getting pumped, but I hit Sand Tomb on him, so he's gonna slowly start taking damage. They do still have Terra left, which is a slight concern, and their stamina um, for Chiempel like winning the game, guaranteed here. I think Comfey still goes down though, which is good. Comfey's dead. And then this guy's slowly getting whittled down. Alright, Sableye comes in. Now we just need to remove Sableye and we just win the game. But he does have focus energy here. Um, I don't. I do want to double attack with both Pokemon here, for sure. I think we can just Heat Crash, and then I will just go for Runation in Dark Luna. They're gonna taunt me. That's fine. That's, I'm, I'm just pressing Heat Crash, buddy. I have no interest in Howling. This should do like half, right? Okay, it did like 30%. It's gonna go for Draco. That's fine. It did crit up. Oh wow! It didn't even kill. Ting lose a beast! I mean, it is probably the crit uh, item. So, like, they're always critting, but it's not its not that strong. It's not that strong. And he's just getting jostled around by the sand tomb. I love it. Um, I think we can just heat crash Arcaludon and seriously protect, and it will just simply die. Because they have no healing anymore. We killed Comfey. They have no healing whatsoever here. Yep, battle's canceled. Battle's canceled. It was just that easy. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great and amazing day, as usual. Please help us get to a million subs by the end of uh, April. April? We're in April now. Please help me get to that million subs by April. I hope you guys have a great and amazing day. I'll see you guys next time.